Watch out! Danger! What would you do after hearing such a scream? Probably your senses would become sharper and your body would take a defensive position. And such a reaction is completely natural. It's an unconscious reflex. Such defensive mechanisms also exist in the world of bacteria. We call it resistance. It allows them to ignore or just get rid of the threatening factor, which is most frequently an antibiotic. Let's have a look through a microscope and transport ourselves to the world of bacteria. Here's what you can see. Hi, my name is Moraxella Cateralis. I am a resident of your nose flora. I was excellent at causing recurrent respiratory tract infections until you, humans, started using beta-lactam antibiotics. The struggle was so exhausting that I have decided to take a part in a germ defense course organized by pig-headed organization. During this course, I have learned to produce beta-lactamase enzymes. They can cut the beta-lactam binding in the antibiotic molecule and deactivate it. And now my life is a bowl of cherries. On this course, I met a guy, a charming guy. His name was Staphylococcus aureus, to our friend Mr. S.A. He was my babe, but not a babe in the woods, as the ordinary stuff in your nose, because this ordinary one has a protein called PBP that binds to the antibiotic molecule and is such a loser that it dies. But my babe was unique. He was a methicillin-resistant MacGyver. He produced his his own kind of protein, he called it PBP2A. It was identical to the previous one, but did not bind to the antibiotic molecule, and thanks to that, he can laugh in the face of danger. In our group, we had also a girlfriend. Her name was Klepsiella pneumonia. She was brilliant at causing pneumonia. Oh my God, drop that gorgeous. She made a strong impression on a man because she had a fantastic pump. You know, guys like gadgets. The brand name was Efflux. From time to time, the pump was broken, but I gave her, I gave her a number to Polish plumber. Nevertheless, <laughs> um, as soon as Klepsilla absorbed an antibiotic, she could actively pump it out without a trace. And thanks to that, he always gets away with murder. Ladies and gentlemen, the story could be a good plot for an action movie. However, in clinical reality, reality it is more of a thriller. The results of this sophisticated mechanism we observe as a failure of life-saving therapies. Life-threatening diseases caused by these resistant microbes are becoming more frequent than ever before. To reduce the probability of having face-to-face -face interaction with such resistant microbes, I recommend you to use a preemptive strike, like washing your hands. Thank you.